Hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is Thomas and you're watching Tom's Tech Academy. In this video, you will learn how to convert an Excel file to a PDF file by using Robocorp. And you see that I have VS Code in front of me and I'm using Robot Framework. Now, if you don't know how to set up a Robocorp project in VS Code, there is another video on my channel that explains how to do that. For now, let's start with this robot and I'm gonna use two libraries. First of all, I'm gonna use library rpa.pdf in order to work with PDF files. And I'm also gonna use library rpa.excel.files, this one. Then you see that I've created a section which is called variables. And I'm gonna create a new variable there, which is called HTML table. And then I'm gonna initiate a table in HTML. And that's because the easiest way to create a, a table in a PDF file is by creating that table in HTML and then using the command HTML to PDF to create a PDF file. So let's create a table in HTML. So use the table command, then use the tr command to create a new line. I'm also gonna close it. And then you use th, which stands for table header. You can also use td here if that's easier for you. But I'm gonna go with th because then you can show the header of the table. And I'm gonna use an Excel file. So just click here and reveal in file explorer. Uh, go to input and see that the, the file that I'm using is students.xlsx. Uh, it contains an ID for every student, a name, and then you see here the IDs and the names. Uh, so it's pretty easy to create this file yourself if you want to follow along with me. I'm gonna close it for now. Let's go back to VS Code. But then you know the structure of the file and I'm gonna put ID here and I'm gonna put the name of the student here. Okay, so that's the initiation of the table. I'm gonna go to tasks and I'm gonna create a new task. I'm just gonna call this one main step. And I'm gonna start with opening the workbook. So use open workbook, this one. And the path to that workbook is input slash students.xlsx. And then I'm gonna save students in the variable students. And the content is read workbook as table, this one. And I'm also gonna define header, which is equal to true. And that's because this file has a header. Um, and you can see that here. You see here that you have ID and name. I don't want the uh, ID of your first student to be ID and the name of your first student to be name. So just make sure that you say header is true. Because if you define header is false, Robocorp will, st will start with iterating on this line. And now it will start on uh, line two. Let's go back to VS Code. And after we've read this workbook, just close the workbook again. Close workbook. And the next thing I want to do is I want to loop through every student. So I'm gonna say for, and then you say element in list for student in students, log element, let's remove this one. And in, in that for each, in that loop, I'm gonna define a variable and that variable is HTML table. HTML table set variable. And HTML table is equal to HTML table. And that's the same HTML table that I've defined here. So I'm just gonna say, um, start with this line and then I'm gonna add something. And what I'm gonna add is the following tr. So we're gonna create a new line. TD, TD, and here I want to add student. Make sure that you um, make sure that you refer to student and not students, because we are in a four here. And then I'm going to say ID, and I'm just going to copy this one, paste it here as well. And here we are referring to the name of that student. Okay, um, now we still have to close the table. So I'm gonna use HTML table one more time. Set variable HTML table. And then we're gonna close the table like this. And then there is one more thing we need to do. We want to write the HTML to a PDF file. And for that I'm gonna use the command HTML to PDF and the content that I want to write is HTML table and the output path, let's say output. 
slash students, but not x less x, but now we're gonna send it to a PDF file. Um, just press control save to save the file, and then press control shift P, and I see here run robot. So I'm gonna click here to run this file. Okay, we have one error and it says that the white is not specified for the table. And that's something that we can change. Just define here white is equal to 50% and here as well, 50% of the screen. Run it again, control shift P, run robot, press enter. I see this time the run was successful. If you get any errors, make sure that you are not closing, for example, the table here. Um, and that you uh, that all your TRs and TDs are uh, provided correctly because I already got some errors um, because of that in prior sessions. So just make sure that all these are correct because otherwise you will get an error. Okay, let's go to our files. Let's go to the output folder and let's open students.pdf. And you see here all the students with their respective ID and the name and you see here ID and name. Now, if you change the TH to a TR to a TD here, like this and you will see that the format is uh, going to be the same as the format of uh, these rows so let's just try that out i just remove this file Control shift p run the robot and i see indeed that the format is the same right you don't have the headers uh, anymore and they're not in bold anymore so that's why i prefer to use th I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you back in one of my upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel.